So then the problem we have here is that zero is smaller than one. So we need to borrow a unit from this one next to it. So that one becomes a zero. But that unit that we borrow in th from this place is worth two in this place. And the reason for that is if you think about it, let's say we had the number uh, 24 minus nine. We would have to borrow a unit from the two and this one will become a 14. So that means we borrow 10 even though for this two, it was only worth a one. So what we're doing is we are borrowing the base. For this case, we're borrowing a 10 because that's a uh, base 10 arithmetic. For the binary case, we're borrowing a two because that's a binary number, which is base two. So we're borrowing the base. Every unit is worth the base. So two minus one, one, 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. So the answer is 1. And that's what we should get since this was 6 and this was 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. So let's go ahead and uh, look at a more complicated example. So let's say we have the number uh, 24. In binary, and we wanted to subtract a 9 from it. So, we, what we have is that uh, this 0 needs a unit so that we can subtract 1 from it, but it can borrow from the next 0 because that one also doesn't have anything to lend. So it goes to the next one. That one doesn't have anything to lend either. So then we get to the one. So then we borrow a unit from this one. So it becomes a zero. Now this zero becomes a two. But it's it wants to lend one unit to the other zero. But well, you got to remember that that unit is worth two in this place. But we are, we're not done yet because we need to land a 1 to the to the last 0. And so this is what happens. So now 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. Once again, we have the same problem. We have 0 minus 1. Just borrow a unit from here. That makes this 0 a 2. 2 minus 1. And this should be a 0, I'm sorry, since we borrowed a unit. So 2 minus 1 is 1, and our answer is 15, and that's what we expected since this is 24, and this other number is 9.